Are you overwhelmed by laundry? Here is how I manage my laundry at home. I used to be like you, having a lot of laundry to do. And I thought by washing all my laundry in one day, I was doing a better thing. Literally, did they know that I was really stressing and overworking myself? So here is what I did. I wash my laundry in bits. Today, I'm washing my living room uh, curtains only. So I sort out all my curtains and I wash them. I also have a little bit of other things that I'm going to be doing. I'll be cleaning my bedroom, make my bed, organize my wardrobe, and also organize the chest of drawers. Because these places really get messy most times. So I just make sure on a daily, I fix everything on those places. Yeah, there are places of traffic. We use them a lot and we tend to dump everything that we find our hands holding there. So if I left my chest of drawer top for like three days without taking care of it, it will get out of hand. If I left um, my wardrobe for several days without taking care of it, it would also get messy. So let me just set this laundry machine to start running the laundry or to start washing. Here I use my Nomi washing powder. It is what is affordable and accessible to me easily where I stay. So it really does the cleaning well for me. Here I'm setting the machine, put the, nom the washing powder and then leave the machine to wash. Meanwhile, let's go and clear up. The chest of drawers, you can see what I mean here. I have lots of things going on. A shoe brush is here. I have books here. Yeah, everything is here. You can see I have um, a hanger here. And it is supposed to be in the wardrobe. So you can see what goes on. When you polish the shoe, you have... Um, the shoe brush on the hand, you put it here. <laughs> so guys, this is how traffic areas get messy in our homes. So on a daily, I put my eyes on this space. Let's do this very fast. And this one here is my art book. Yeah, I used it yesterday but i ended up putting it here i never kept it away so i'm going to give this a quick wipe to clean yeah so this is how you can also do your housework so if you're not doing anything right now at home can you please get up and we do this housework together can you go to any place, any space in your house that is cluttered? Any space in your house that is cluttered, just pick off what is not supposed to be in that space and put it in its right space. We can actually clean this together. I have set myself to do this cleaning for one and a half hours. So even the one and a half hours are actually going to be too many for me, but that's what I've said. So after one and a half hours, I'm going to do something else and not to be doing this again. So let's organize this space. You can see this space here is another area of traffic in my house. Usually you find this is washed laundry. And it's dumped here. These are books and they are dumped here, there. And I can also see the bags. Actually, this space here was supposed to have a mirror. But because I have another mirror in the house, 
I decided to tell the carpenter who made for me this to not put the mirror because I had another mirror. And of course, putting the mirror was also increasing costs on me. So I said, no mirror here. So specifically, we left that space to be putting our office bags. But you can see it's carrying more than just an office bag. Yeah. So let me keep off the clothes, put away the books, and let the place shine once again. Yeah. So something to tell you about organization Always make sure everything has a place where it's supposed to stay. So one key tip to organization is to finding space for storage. Yeah, before I used to store my clothes in bags and I had lots of bags in the house till I decided to source this wardrobe locally within my home village so our local carpenter made for me this and it's really serving its purpose it's functional yeah so our laundry is ready and i'm just removing this to go and hang outside yeah really they are not wet because i have spinned them i'm just putting them out to totally dry yeah, so my beautiful people, the ladies out there, you can actually do this. There is one thing I want to show you in my curtain. I saw today, I didn't know this had happened. Yeah, so I'm really challenged. I don't know what to do. Yeah, this is the work my children did. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. Hmm? I realized today that my curtain is cut. It's cut and also has ink on it. Yeah. And then even this other one is having a fresh cut. Yeah, they could have used something sharp just to cut here. Yeah. So... This is how children can be destructive sometimes. Imagine, imagine these guys. Yeah, we are done with laundry work. And this is how I leave my machine after laundry. I clean it up and leave it open. And also our bed is made. It is neat. So if you haven't made yours, go ahead and make it. Look at how our chest of drawers is shining. It's organized and wiped. Isn't it beautiful to look at it? See here, this space was messy and now it is very, very beautiful. Yeah. And I have actually done this in one hour, not even one and a half. Yeah, this is my drawing, guys. I'm a good artist nowadays. And there we go. We are going to have our lunch. And I'm having fish, chapati, eggplants mixed with garden eggs. I have a trick to eating garden eggs. You know, garden eggs have a bit of some bitterness. So I don't cut them. I just cook them round and I swallow them like I'm swallowing medicine. So guys... If you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Until the next time, see you again in my next video. Thanks so much and goodbye.